We're getting you pumped up for our first San Diego goals broadcast live on the CW San Diego this Saturday night at 7. One of the goals most prolific players is Willie O'Ree. He broke the color barrier in the NHL and paved the way for future players of diverse backgrounds. The Hall of Famer played 45 games with the Boston Bruins and he joins us this morning to talk all things hockey and more on his role as the NHL's diversity ambassador. Good morning to you Willie. Quite an honor to talk with you. Oh, good morning. How are, how are things? Great, great. You and I spoke a couple of years ago, and it was great to catch up back then. A lot's changed since then. We're doing this uh, all virtually now, so uh, we are excited here on the CW to bring viewers more televised live goals hockey games, because the more hockey in San Diego, the better, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I miss, I miss being down in the arena and seeing the goals play. Uh, hopefully uh, down the road they'll be back into the uh, into the building. Take us back, if you don't mind, to, to life in the NHL in the late 50s. You were the uh, the first black player. What was that like? Uh, how did you overcome some of the, the difficulties you faced in the league? Well, you know, I, uh, I had set two goals for myself. Um, one was to play professional hockey, and the second one was hopefully to play in the NHL. I was faced with, uh, with some racism and prejudice, and, you know, and bigotry, but you know, thanks to my older brother, who was not only my uh, my brother and my friend, but he was my mentor. And he taught me a lot of things that I would need to know if I was going to choose hockey as a career. And he says, you know, names will never hurt you, Willie, and you're going to be exposed to those. But just stay focused on what you want to do and uh, work hard and everything has a way of working out. It was tough for a while, but uh, then I gained the respect of not only the players on the opposition, but, but fans in the stands. And I was managed to play a professional um, hockey career for 21 years. What is your message to people going through some of those similar difficulties right now? Well, just set goals for yourselves and believe in yourself. You know, uh, you can't change the color of your skin and you wouldn't want to. Uh, if people can't accept you for the individual that you are, then it's, it's their problem. Uh, just work hard and, and uh, uh, be all that you can be. Tell us about your role as NHL's diversity ambassador. I mean, there's been so many important conversations lately about diversity, inclusiveness, combating hate. Uh, what can San Diegans do to make our community more welcoming? Well, I, I think just the um, just exposure to hockey. I know, uh, you know, since I um, since I joined the, um, the NHL in, in 1996, um, we had about uh, about four uh, diversity teams at that. At that time, we have about 36 now uh, throughout North America, and uh, um, I've been exposed to, you know, more boys and girls and, and just helping them set goals for themselves and, and believing in themselves. Uh, you know, when I played, uh, being the only black player in the league, but now there's several, not only black players, but players of color that are in the league, and it's, it's just hoping, it's just uh, helping to, you know, expose the game and, and, uh, and making the game uh, uh, just, a, just a better game. You're, you're so amazing. Not only did you break the color barrier, having a successful NHL career and a successful career with the San Diego Goals, you did this blind in one eye. I don't think there's <laughs> a lot of our viewers that either recall that or remember that or even knew that. I mean, tell us what that was like to deal with. It was just a, um, a slap shot from, uh, from the point, and I'm in front of the net for a deflection. Uh, the puck ricocheted off a stick and come up and struck me in the, in the right eye, hit me flat, broke my nose. Uh, broke my cheek, and uh, the doctor told me that I'd be blind and I'd never play hockey again. But then the next five weeks, I'm, I'm back on the ice um, practicing and, and playing, and I said, forget about you, what you can't see and just concentrate on what you can see. I never sat in front of an eye machine the 21 years I played. We're going to be getting a lot of new viewers to hockey now that we're launching this goals on the CW partnership, and I, I think it's the coolest game. But what is it about hockey that you love? There's something about hockey that um, the fans really enjoy. I, I think it's the the body contact and, and um, um, the way these players can um, can maneuver on the ice and uh, uh, the, the talents that they have. And it's, it, it's just a great sport to watch. What are your thoughts on this year's goals squad? They started off great, but they had a little you know struggle on the road here. Any advice for this team? They have a good team. They have um, they have good coaches. And um, I think they're, they're going to start gelling. And when, when they do, I think it's, uh, it's going to make a big difference. The legend, the Hall of Famer, Willie O'Ree, joining us this morning. Thanks so much for your time, Willie. Always appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you.
The legend, wow. Willie O'Ree there. It really is. Yeah, the first Gulls game airing right here on the CW, and it's on March 27th against Tucson, so Saturday night. The second, April 3rd versus San Jose, and April 24th against Henderson. Saturday, May 1st against Tucson, and then there's a road game on May 8th against Bakersfield, which is now scheduled for 6 p.m. They moved that one up an hour. You can find the full goal Gulls schedule at our website, cbs8.com slash Gulls. We are also streaming all of the games on cbs8.com and you can take it wherever you go because we're also putting it on our News 8 app. Lots okay. of ways to get your goals. You know, Eric, I've never watched a hockey game. I never knew much about hockey, but you are turning me into a Gulls <laughs> fan. Every day. The hockeyology <laughs> episodes are helping. <laughs> yes, and then yes. hearing from Willie, I mean, that message that he said, don't focus on what you can't see, focus on what you can see. That alone just impacts everyone in one way or another. That's why so. he's in the Hall of Fame. Oh, That's yeah. Hall of Fame advice there <sighs> for all aspects of life, not so just great. the game of hockey. Mm -hmm.